Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's good. South Australia is home to a truly amazing array of uh, native bird species and many of these species require hollows for nesting and for shelter. A lot of parrots, cockatoos, even some ducks, um, smaller birds like pardalotes, they all require hollows to nest in and to produce young. Some birds of prey and uh, night birds, uh, bubble gowers, require hollows as roosting locations as well as for nesting. And it's not just birds, uh, a lot of reptiles, quite a few mammals, and a lot of invertebrates also use hollows as well. Hollows generally form in really old mature or even dead trees, like you can see in this stringy bark behind me. And you can see there's a number of hollows forming and some quite big ones have already formed, and this provides home for lots of animals. So they really are nature's apartment blocks. With much fewer uh, larger big mature trees like this one behind me, a lot of our hollow using fauna uh, without homes and um, with large scale clearance across the Mount Lofties along with many other uh, issues, woodland birds are in decline along with many other species. And it's really important that we can put artificial hollows back and it's one way that we can provide a home for many of the hollow nesting fauna in our area. So we can make nesting boxes or uh, bat boxes to do this for different species. So a great way is to go out in your local area and find out what birds and different species use the area and then you can target making a nest box for them. To build your own nest boxes at home, there's two different ways you can do it. You can purchase a pre-made kit where it will come and you can put, assemble it and then put it up in your tree. And these will already be designed for specific species. Or you can go and gather some off-cut pieces of wood or cut your own and make it from scratch to your specific design. Now all different birds and animals use different design nest boxes, so there's quite a lot of things to consider if you're making it from scratch. Uh, for example, the entrance holes will be different depending on what species you're looking for, the depth will be different, and all this needs to be taken into account when you're building your nest box. A few other things to consider is the, uh, the orientation. Um, some like to have deep nest boxes and some uh, like longer nest boxes. Some species like pardalotes need quite specific structures on the outside to simulate nesting holes that they would use in the wild. Drainage holes are quite important for birds and you also need to check your nest box quite regularly to make sure that uh, feral bees or other feral bird species haven't taken over and that things haven't started to go uh, rotten in the box. So in terms of materials for nesting boxes, you can use a variety of wood, exterior plywood or hardwood, uh, even pine are quite good options if you're making it from scratch. They just need to be fairly thick, about 15 millimetres to help uh, simulate a tree hollow and regulate the temperature inside. If it's too thin, the temperature can fluctuate too much. Exterior climbing ladders and on the inside using cuts are quite good to allow the birds to get in and out easily and uh, some kind of finish to protect the box. So some people like to paint, others like to use oil. It's up to you, paint lasts longer, but the oil might look a bit more natural. So yeah, do a bit of research and see what works for you. So have a go and experiment making different designs of boxes and aiming for different species of birds in your area. And nothing will replace a good old mature hollow in a tree, but it's something we can do to put some of the native habitat back.